What's up gamers, how the heck are you? My name is Epic Pins, and in today's Grounded video, we're gonna talk about that Mantis fight and how crazy this fight is. It's insane. And I know you guys were looking for that easy, cheesy way to take her out, but there is no way to do a no hit, in my opinion. I mean, maybe, maybe in the future, and I'm gonna keep working at it. If I can come up with easier ways, I will happily post them for you guys. But for right now, I'm gonna post the tips and tricks video to help you guys at least try your best to finish this fight and earn that awesome armor that it comes with and the scythe and honestly this is one of my favorite fights so far in this game it's it used to be the broodmother fight but i feel like this one just adds that extra level of just you'll see you'll see so anyway guys thank you so much for watching let's just get to the video I mean, all right guys what's up so i'm having to voice this over because this is like my 30th time trying this at like 2 a.m in the morning and the me you see on the screen is not very talkative. So I'm going to talk through the fight a little bit and uh, just talk about different ways that make this fight a little bit easier for you. You need to note that when you first summon her in, her drop down does not damage you. So you can get right underneath her and get ready to attack her multiple times before she unleashes her first attack. Now try your best to use the tree to your advantage this is this i found helped a ton she can't attack through the tree with any one of her attacks she can only use her scream that'll affect you from a distance but it just knocks you down for a few seconds and you'll stand right back up so anytime you need to heal back up very quickly and get around the tree get out of her line of sight and then start healing but keep your your angle towards her because she will sneak around the tree pretty quickly sometimes so just be mindful of that you want to try to always block i know that seems stupid and obvious obvious but try your best to block every single one of her attacks can be blocked she has nothing that can't be blocked that i discovered i was able to block everything not that i always blocked it but i was able to block everything and i noticed that you just had to learn the timing so over over the course of playing this a bunch of times you will learn the timings of various ones what I did, I started learning the timings of a few of the attacks and I tried to just avoid the other ones. So I capitalized on blocking perfectly for a few of her attacks and then I just made, made sure I blocked for the rest of them. She will change up moves as her level gets below half. Some of the moves you see will end up being different strikes. So be wary of that and know that when it changes but when she gets below half health, she will change them. So they're not going to attack the same way. So you'll have to learn timings of other moves. That's why this fight is insanely difficult. But like I said, if you use the tree to your advantage and you use it for, I used it for healing purposes, obviously, but then sometimes I needed a break. I needed to step back and she's being very intense. I needed a break. So you've actually, you probably this whole time noticed that there are glowing yellow orbs in my game. Well, I think it's supposed to be gas she drops spores from the ceiling onto the ground it causes um, basically when you run through it it causes a bleed and it causes you to lose your defenses and energy it's an energy drain so it it's horrible stay out of it do your best to run to the other side of the arena because when she screams that's when they drop as you'll see there they're dropping from the sky as she screams run to the other side because you're looking for a clearing where they're not being dropped on you essentially so honestly guys this fight is intense but if you just are you really patient with it 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 becomes a lot easier don't try to burst her down i found that it just doesn't work because she punishes you very very badly if you slip up once her moves hurt very badly i'm using level 9 bulky roly-poly armor and she hurts a lot <laughs> And I, I went in with this because I knew the damage that she could cause after a few after a few attempts. I realized this this is just the armor I want to use to save me from getting hit. Because I'm not the greatest blocker in the world. I do miss on occasion and I didn't want to be punished for missing. I also I just go in with a salty weapon. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Sorry guys. Um go in with a salty weapon. Choose your poison. If you want to try a fast salty weapon, it's fine. I chose the club of the mother demon because it capitalizes on punishing her. Anytime I can stun her, anytime I can get her to sit still, it's when I can get the third hit off, it does a ton of damage against her. And that was really important to me because when I tried to go in with quicker weapons, I tried the, um, the Salt Morning Star fully leveled 
Uh, the same with the club with the mother demon. I think it's fully leveled as well. I tried uh, going in with those, but it just didn't do enough damage, and I felt that as the fight went on, she punishes you, and I just I didn't want to risk that anymore. I kept, this this got me the closest, and I kept doing it. So now, you know, I'm probably only ever going to use this until I can try to figure out another way to capitalize on it. So. I'm going to let the rest of the rough fight just kind of play out, guys. Um, but just use those tips. Use them to the best of your ability. Um, use the tree is the biggest thing that I can I can focus on. But other than that, guys, I mean, uh, enjoy the rest of the fight. And uh, good luck. Let me tell you. Good luck. All right, guys, that was the fight. I do hope you enjoyed it. But before we go, I do want to show you the weapon, the armor, and the um, mutations I used uh, during this fight and my reasoning for the choices. Um, so bringing up, let's just talk about the armor first. You guys see I have a couple pieces of weapons and armors here because I was trying different things. But to bring up the armor first, um, Roly Poly Armor, level 9, bulky. It's just my strongest armor I had, like I said. It just negated a lot of the damage that if she did hit me, I didn't get fully punished for it. It also has a block stun, so I was hoping I could get her to stun a little bit. I don't know if it always worked, but it, I mean, I feel like this benefited me the most in the long run. Now, I have the, uh, the Ladybird Shield. Any shield will do. I do recommend you equipping a shield, even though I, not, I am not using it in this fight. Every time I brought out my blood sacks, the shield was on my arm. So if something happened where she attacked me while I was trying to use a blood sack, I at least could block with that shield really quickly. So I recommend just having the shield on. I, I have the ladybird on, but you could I think any shield would be fine. You just want that extra little block while you're trying to heal. That's just a little bit of a recommendation there. Um, as far as weapon, um, so my weapon was... Well, the club of the mother demon, obviously it's, it's one of the more powerful clubs in the game. I, I was trying not to use a club in this. I went with the salt morning star when I first tried this, the damage just wasn't there for me. The fight was kind of dragging on super long. She heals during the fight. I know I didn't make mention of that, but she does heal. If you leave her alone for a little too long, or I'm not really sure what she heals off of It's if it's you. She necessarily heals off because she does cause um, a little bit of bleed when she strikes you. So um, I don't know if she's healing off that necessarily, but she does heal a little bit. Um, so it, the fight was just dragging on too long. It just doesn't do enough damage to negate that she heals slightly. So I went on with the heaviest damage I could. So I went with the Club of the Mother Demon, level 9 Salty, because salt does affect her the most. I tried other Salty weapons. They just didn't work as well as I wanted them to. So... I say bring this, it just worked the best for me. But hey, you, you make your own choice, obviously, whatever you feel, however you want to feel the fight go, that's up to you. As far as mutations go, I went with crit, obviously. I feel like this is one you always have to have on. Buff, or uh, not buff, uh, meat shield, just for the extra health, um, just so I can have max health. Parry master, just so I can always try to hit my, give me that extra time to, to, hit, my par or to hit my blocks and get my parries off, so stuff like that. Just for a little extra help. I chose this. If you don't have this, it's not a necessity. Um, this is the uh, Trapper Peeper. Um, you find it uh, as a card, a key card off of one of the people. Um, but you get uh, extra crit damage. So I, j I don't know how much of a difference this actually made. And then the same with this one, Shocking Dismissal. There's probably a better one I could have chose. I had this on because I was testing something out. This just happened to be on when I won. Um, I This was probably not a game changer um i don't know that it actually affected her that much when i blocked when i blocked her attacks it would convert it into energy i don't know that it it really affected her that much but i mean if it did then hey i'll keep you know keep it on probably go with buff lungs in the future just so that i can have more stamina keep having max stamina and stuff like that or something along those lines to help me with um 
with gaining a little bit more of my uh, stamina back while you use heavier set weapons. So, with that being said, you know, do that with what you will. You don't, I don't think those are game changing ones. A lot of them are something that you always have on anyway. So I don't, I, I just feel like you guys can, you can play around with those as much as possible. Um, I, the armor and stuff like that is just kind of like how, how much of the fight can you handle? You can block and parry a lot. Then, hey, you might not need strong armor. I just, I don't always, I don't always hit my blocks. Or I don't always get my blocks and stuff like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I'm sorry that I couldn't get you guys a cheese video. I really tried. I tried so many ways. The bows and arrows just or the crossbow just took so long and she was just able to capitalize and then the 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 um the smoke or the gas or whatever really really punishes you and causes you to close the gap on her that's probably why they did that um but like i said use the tree so the biggest things to take away from this use the tree to your advantage use the tree to your advantage as best you can use it for heals use it for a break use it for just keeping her at distance as best you can until you get bombarded by all the spores but use it as best you can two salty weapon doesn't really matter i mean it does matter the weapon it matters whatever you're most comfortable with but bring salty weapon that's what she is most weak to is salty everything else she has resistance to just let you know that three uh three healing items bring something that heals you instantly such as your blood spats or some smoothies basically your favorite smoothies that you could possibly whatever you like that works the best for you maybe some damage i took beefy rage uh liquid rage and um i had one health one but i had mainly just um blood spreads but i kind of panic heal a lot so i probably wasted a bunch of mine so don't necessarily follow exactly what i did in terms of the healing uh, don't panic heal try your best to just create a gap between you guys and just heal when you feel that's necessary for you to heal. You can land a few blocks off on her, stuff like that. Um, I tried life steal on her. It just it didn't as much damage as she can do to you. Life steal just can't close the gap, and that was the main problem with that. Just doesn't do enough damage to close the gap. So I tried a bunch of life steal weapons on her, but that it just couldn't. Once again, couldn't close the gap. So that's something that if you guys might have worried about or wanted to talk about because I've used life steal on some of the other. Um, bosses in the game that it's worked out really well but her just didn't fit so guys i really hope you guys like this tips and trick video sorry once again i couldn't give you the cheese video but hey i'm gonna keep working at it and hopefully some more stuff i'm gonna try some more crazy arrows and stuff like that maybe i can cause some crazy stuff to happen and maybe get you guys a little bit easier time in this fight hope you enjoy and remember catch you in the next one peace out guys